Uh, welcome student to our class. Now today we are going to start a new chapter that is introduction to scratch programming. So first of all we are going to learn what is scratch. Before starting scratch it's very important that uh, about programming languages. There are different type of languages that you must have heard about in previous class and all we have learned QBasic and all and in some lower classes logo command and all we have already come across this basic programming language for kids now in programming language what is programming language programming language is to make program or to give instruction to a computer we are going to give instruction to the computer or making computer program so there are different type of languages which to give command to the computer that is example like basic pascal c c++ python java or this scratch programming basic language and all so before we have come across this uh, qbasic and all in qbasic what we do the code that we used to write is much different to that of our normal English language. The one which we are writing English language is much different with our programming language and some people thought that it's for student or some basic uh, so smaller student. In student they used to feel like it's uh, boring and they don't want to go into that programming languages and it's not much that interesting so like say in your textbook also it's given in Python language we should display for hello friends we need to write print and under bracket hello friends and all and with C++ and Java also it's different in C++ C out and all and in Java system dot out dot print and we need to write this uh, hello friend so it's from one language to another it's different how to display or how to uh, run a program and all so this scratch it's a visual programming language and it's very much interested interesting and it's developed by scratch team in MIT and it'll be so they have developed this uh, scratch programming language so that for student they will be interested in making programming language and they will know how to do all the logical operation by using this graphical representation of programming language let me open scratch this is scratch 3 in our textbook they have teaching us in scratch 2 but now the latest edition that is scratch 3 point we are using this 3.21.0 this is the version you can double click and make it full size so this is scratch this is scratch programming language so it's a graphical representation by using this graphic we don't need to type here this uh, c type c out or uh, q basic like in q basic language what we used to do we used to type all the programming codes and all basic things but here look here the for loop and statement and all it's very easy look only the only the symbol by looking at the symbolic representation itself we can say wait repeat you have to repeat how many times like that so it's very much easy comparing to other programming language for student so this is very much interesting and we can what we can do here we can create a project game music garden many things we can develop here so first of all this scratch is free for everyone it's free and you can download it from internet and if you don't download it also you can work it on uh, through their website by logging into their website so why is it necessary to start 
using or start learning these programming languages and programming instruction and all. Now today is in modern world it's very much important that students need to know what are look into this day to day life we are using a smartphone computers and all everyone is using so it's an modern society so in this modern society the one which you are using that is smartphone or computer maybe online classes and everything the one which you are doing is all developed by human and it's very much important what how is it developed so by introducing this type of very interesting software uh, programming language we are going to learn how to give instruction or how to set an instruction for a computer and we are going to develop our computational thinking that is like problem, sol problem solving when there is an issue you can think how to solve this problem and how to develop a new one how to create like this type of thinking it will be developed and a modularization and iterative design and digital fluency in the future generation in modulation means the whole part is being divided into a block of program and it's very much too easy to learn while dividing and subdivided into a block of program while uh, learning all in full version at the one time so this demulet uh, modularization is divided into modular form this type of thinking is very much important for the student nowadays so by learning this scratch programming language is very much it will be much helpful to our student and it will be interesting and it will be very easy to learn so before starting our program I will say Uh, right now I have not come be connected with the internet so starting a scratch you can download it from internet we can work it as online and offline mode in scratch for offline mode we need to enter scratch.mit.edu in this URL and we can this editor so here you have uh, you must have seen that uh, editor word in your textbook so this editor online scratch editor or offline scratch editor is nothing it's the program or software which we are going to do which we are going to do all the scratch programming or develop our program so that platform is called scratch editor so there are two type of editor in scratch one is online and one is offline so in online mode you have to first go to scratch.mit.edu and you have to click on join scratch if you have already opened your account then you need to sign in through your browser and if it is not then you need to join scratch and when you join scratch you need to create your own account and by using internet if the internet is not good then I might some have problem but here in our in our school we are going to use offline mode so if you are using any computer it may be Mac or it may be Windows or you can or it may be tablet or it may be from your smartphone you can directly log in open your browser and you can start using this scratch by logging into this their website and uh, the one which I have already told before you need to log into your scratch account and you can start your program so here in your textbook it's already mentioned like how to create a scratch account when you click on this join scratch it will ask for scratch username and choose your password you need to select your password you need to create your own password and join scratch and it will ask your date of birth and gender country and all you need to fill it up and it's very compulsory to enter your email address confirm your email address and if you want to receive any update from scratch stream uh, scratch team and after creating an account you can log into your scratch account
join account completed and for offline mode offline mode we can download it's free uh, this scratch editor is free you can download it from internet that is scratch.mit.edu slash download from here we can download our latest version of scratch the one which we are using is 3.21.0 and after downloading we have installed it so what is uh, how to open this scratch after installing you can directly click on this scratch icon or you can go to if it is a different window is if it is uh, 11 windows 11 also it's already launched in the market so if it is window 11 then you can you have to click on this window icon and you need to search for that scratch or you have to search for the installed application and if it is uh, all the version then you need to click on this start icon and go to program and search this scratch editor offline mode so we will open this scratch so here this top bar is called title bar it's much similar to that of the one which we work as powerpoint or word or ms excel and after that menu bar this is called menu bar these are the menus available in our scratch and this is here you can change the language for scratch so there are different type of language here i have selected english can select other language also if you want and tapes these are called tape code costume sound these are tape we'll discuss later on and these are the key component of scratch and here this is called stays this is called stays this is called script area you can see uh this is this cat is called Uh, this cat is called sprite and this is days this is days area and it's been divided into this vertical line is called y axis and this horizontal one is called x axis and you can see here this is x x minus so here there is a marginal line and here it's zero in the center position here there is a zero that x and y axis so here it's positive one x y axis like this here y minus x minus and up to that extent in axis it goes up to 240 step and y axis it goes up to 180 step and in your textbook it's given they are doing in scratch 2 and scratch 2 extension file name uh, file extension is dot sb2 and here we are using scratch 3 that's why the file extension is dot sb3 dot sb3 now sprite uh, this sprite please here for a new project when we open this scratch this cat is a default sprite so what does this cat do cat is a let's say is an actor I'll give you an example is actor and these are the script that we are going to uh, give command to the actor that he is going to speak and do all the things that in the movie stays or in a theater let's say this is a theater stays um, this cat character is going to perform whatever we give command to the kid so these are the command and we are going to uh, write here the command and this kid is going to perform in the stays like that so this is called script area the one where we are going to give command is called or where we are going to write the script is called script area and this is called block palette area block palette or block area and these are called block description and these are tape 
this is called blog description as motor motion look sound there are different type of blog description and this is called block area or block palette from here we are going to drag and drop in this script area and we are going to give uh, write or we are going to give instruction to the actor that is sprite there in the stage and he is going to perform over there in the stage whatever we give command to the actor or sprite maybe multiple actor like that in the movie and we can add that multiple sprite from here there are different sprite from here the cat is also there flying cat and all there are two type of costume we learn next by next we can change the cat this one we can clone this one duplicate we can make a duplicate cat like this and you can change the costume of the kid also this thumbnail is called sprite 1 this next thumbnail is called sprite 2 again you can change the button from here you can select a new sprite from here or we can paint a sprite and if you click on surprise and it will select any other sprite like this this is another sprite so for selecting one actor like this it's a different uh, block area will be there for different actor or sprite but this is sprite one court area block area this is sprite two block area Let's highlight the sprite look here when I click on the sprite fruit salad when I click on this one it highlight the uh, character or sprite so what is this sprite just like a character which is going to work in a stage so in this tape code costume and sound now we are going to learn when you go to code there are different type of block description that is motion look sound and all motion in motion it's going to it's going to make our sprite or actor on the stage to move or change direction it's in this motion it uh, relate with the movement of the sprite and in look it uh, relate with the text display or looks of the sprite in the stage and sound means when you click on sound it's a block of code so in this sound it's going to display the sound by the sprite in the stage and click on is event when you click on this event these are the event it's very much important when you click on this start button this is go and this is stop button when you uh, want this stays in full screen you have to click on this one and start and stop and if you want to minimize again you have to click on the same button like this for event event is a very useful block of code start or script and stop or script and it'll by pressing on this event there are different type of event when how and broadcast and all we'll learn later on and control when you click on this control it's uh there are different type of block of codes here you can you have already learned this q basic and all here you have seen that if command and for command and all here it's a graphically represented it and it's a very easy to understand look by looking at the picture itself look here wait one second by looking at the graphical representation here in our uh, block of code we can just drag and like this so we learn how to run the command later on and sensing 
sensing means it's going to determine the location of the mouse pointer or the sprite in our stage. While is it touching with another sprite or there are three different characters over here in our present scratch. So like this, when it's going to contact with another sprite or with the mouse pointer, it's going to sense. And in operator, block of code, a different type of arithmetical operator, comparison, rounding operator are there. A block of codes with our requirement we will use from here operator. And in variable, there are different type of variable, set, change, and all. So variable, height variable, and all. With our requirement, we are going to take variables from here. And in more block, we are going to make our own block of codes from here. More block. So this is script area, and in costume tab here after first tab that is code in costume tab sprite 1 if I want to change the sprite 1 or if I want to change the costume of the sprite 2 this is just like a paint the one which you have done in earlier classes uh, you can change the sprite costume now I'm going to change it look let me change our sprite color sprite 2 color This is our new sprite, and I want to change the mouth. look like this you can change the sprite like just like a drawing you can take you can add takes edit draw erase change shapes you can do it from here there are color palettes sprite magnifier you can magnify this plus minus and this is paint editor area this is where you can paint and there are two costume here and if you want to delete a costume then you can press this recycle bin symbol and this is these are the paint editor tool these are the two which you can change the name also costume one and this is costume two and in sound tab if you have connected with the speaker you can hear the sound that is new and you can change the are different type of sound here the sprite is going to say mu and it's connected with the speaker and there are different type of sound also you can see it if you want to add sounds and all so there are different type of sounds here you can edit from here This, is, this one is only new, you can delete it and you can add sound from here and you can hear fast forward, slow, louder and all, you can change it from here, fade out, fade in and all and you can record sound and keep it over here also, uh, bring it over here so like this you can change the character of the sprite and you can do whatever you want here in this one so here comes the end of our introduction of scratch programming so we will see in next class